Okay, surprisingly, I didn't stay in house long, honey. Um, it, it, it's still busy, and it's and granted it's Friday, but it's rarely busy after two o'clock on Fridays here. So it's like the order has just gone all. I guess people have just gotten so accustomed to what the peak times are that they're now trying to adjust and start ordering outside normal hours. Um. So they now try because now it's like it, it just becomes busy at sporadic times that is normally not. So I guess a lot more people just picking up on to the normal times of DoorDash and they're adjusting accordingly. And I'm adjusting right with the ass, especially today, because I don't want to see no black bitch today. And I ain't talking about the one at the house. I swear, is this darn gonna irritate Luan Day? Cause it's like the next door neighbor want to try to mean mug me for whatever reason I don't know. Probably because I passed him by the street for the up team time. Lord Jesus, it ain't never a dull moment. And now the light's about to turn red. But see, they won't take in the fact that ambulances just passed by here. Soon as the light turn green, somebody will be quick to go and darn gonna smash right into you, honey. But I'm going back to Chipotle for $3.25 going three miles. Honey, DoorDash is really serious about darn on cutting the pay. Are you serious? It's like y'all already don't want to pay us shit. Why is y'all doing this? I think they be incentivizing the darn on customers not to even tip and stuff. I'm about to darn on look at the app again and see what in the world's really going on. Cause I, I, I'm not, I'm just not believing all these customers just no longer tipping like that no more. I really have a sneaky suspicion that there's some wording on the on the DoorDash end that darn gonna try to incentivize that you don't got to really tip the darn gonna cuss. I mean, do your driver. I don't know. Like, did they take the tip feature off or whatnot? From once again, I need to order from DoorDash just to see this shit. Cause I'm just not believing this. Like e even in darn gone high dollar neighborhoods, I'm not darn going receiving no, no tips. Like this is crazy. Now understandably so if I'm delivering 10 minutes late or something, you might take the tip back, but it's like if I'm 15 minutes early, what in the world going on? Yeah, DoorDash is just gone to shit, honey. I can't wait to watch the rest of that interview from him because I've only seen a, a brief clip. Like, I want to hear the justification of this bullshit. Oh, Lord, more ambulance. God damn. Uh-oh. Do I pull over to the left? Now I can't get back over to the damn right. Let me honk. Make it known. Because see, I swear drivers just inconsiderate. You see me get over for the darn gone ambulance. Now I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Because damn, fire trucks, two more ambulances. Like what in the hell? It's never a dull moment on fucking Ramsey Street. Hopefully I might get another oh second thought. Let me let me be more specific with my intention. I get an add-on order from a different store. Cause Lord knows I don't need no add-on from Chipotle. Chipotle, Lord knows. 
it's one of those restaurants I wouldn't mind working at. But it's just the people there, the, the time. Pro what in the hell? What in the fuck is really going on? Now the police know to pass by me in a red darn gone challenger. Damn, what was it a shootout up the street or something? What the hell? But yeah, y'all. It's just a mess. This is just not my day. The orders are starting to get low. The demon on took off. Uh, bitch want to get darn gone. Want to get sassy at the darn going uh, McDonald's. This shit is crazy. See, with DoorDash, I darn going to be having... About, I be having problems with everybody but the customers nine times out of ten. It's, it's a rare occurrence where I actually have issues with the customers. And the only issues that I tend to be having with the customers is when they had a business and they don't tell us, you know, where you at at the business. Like if you inside a business that has a multitude of businesses. Or are you in an apartment complex and you give me the building number, but you don't give me your apartment number or vice versa. You might have gave me the apartment number, but didn't give me the building number. I be dealing with shit like that with customers. Living off the highway and you don't tell nobody. But well, anyways, let me get in here for my customer. And we will be back. Yeah, y'all, something tragic done happen up the street because as I'm going out the store, I hear more ambulances going up the damn street. So that's like 10 darn gone law enforcement vehicles and paramedics at this point. Like, damn, was there a multi blow car accident or some shit? Was there a shootout or something? Like, what in the hell? Especially when I seen that red unmarked uh, police car. Yeah, y'all need to get in there off y'all damn break how, how slow it is. Child, the fact that they get to eat food. I, see, this is the shit that makes me want to apply here, though. <laughs> Let me not talk too much cash money shit to my, you know, soon to be darn going, uh, soon to be darn going fellow employees, honey. Because, see, for me to darn going get into a restaurant, why is there another mailbox person coming here? A mailman? But then again, she is African. It seemed like she knew. She was speaking to... I guess she was confused about the order delivery and whatnot. But anyways, let me get to my customer. I know where they at, so I don't even need to have GPS on. Let me get this number though real quick, okay. Oh, peat moss, honey. Peat moss, here we come, honey. Now, I hope that it don't be no more darn going paramedics and darn going law enforcement and shit coming up through here now, shit. I done already seen over 10 darn gone ambulances and police trucks. And like I said, when I seen that red unmarked darn gone police car come up through here, and I just seen uh, somebody post about that, about the sheriff in um, Lumberton having that unmarked car. Like, hi, damn, what he doing up here in the two seats? Because y'all know Lumberton is about a good uh, half hour, 40 minutes away. Tell me how I know because I just had to travel to Lumberton for a damn grub pub order for 13 fucking dollars. Me not paying attention. And you know how hard it is to try to cancel a grub pub order. 
damn, there goes another police car, y'all. Hi, damn. What in the world don't really went on up this darn gone road? I'm trying to figure out what type of mail could Chipotle be getting. Whether they, why, I mean, that caused them to get too many mail people up here. Oh, he waiting in line for him. Child, he gonna be waiting a good damn minute. I hope he darn gonna got an hour break. Do the, do the post people got hour breaks? I hope so. But anyways, y'all, I'll be back after I deliver this order. Oh, well, just as I say that the light turns green, so I'm going to talk with y'all for a few more seconds. Unless this one decides to turn green. Okay, this one. <laughs> okay, y'all, I guess y'all coming to the house with me, child. Every time I go to try to click the end button, the light wants to turn green. And now this one on turn green, so yeah, yeah. I guess we'll talk some more, y'all. Or y'all just watch me drive to the customer's house. I need the light to turn red. Now all the lights want to be green. Oh shit, they back there. Oh lord, what in the world done happen near Ridgeway, child? I just came from there. Hi, damn. That's the high dollar neighborhood. What in the hell? Child, I thought they might have been going to one of these raggedy trailer parks or some shit up here. They not going to went to the high dollar neighborhood. Child. But then again, they said that this darn going on, uh, Rona Rona's been affecting people quite differently, honey. Child, I hope nobody didn't snap and darn gonna commit a darn gonna murder. Uh, murder, she murder. Now I hope in the app they gave me the apartment the building number. Cause I don't know if these will be classified as apartments or townhouses or what. Y'all can tell me when I get out of the car. And you know, ironically, this person has the same name as the last person I just delivered to from darn going Chipotle. I was like, damn, greedy bitch, you darn going or although you know I ain't complaining shit. Keep Diva Wine in business. But you ordering some more food within me just delivering to you 40 minutes ago? Because I just delivered to an Ashley M. But this is a whole different Ash. No, I didn't. I'm lying, y'all. It was Alexandria. They both had the same first and last initials, but not names. But anyways, y'all, I'm here. Let me go ahead and get this to my customer. Oh, well, first... Let me show y'all. Are these townhouses or would they be classified as apartments? 
Anyways, let me know. Okay, I'll be back. Look like I ain't getting no other beats in office today. Y'all might hear the grill pull bill go off one more time. But it's trying to send me all the way on the opposite side of time for thirteen dollars. And it's like, ugh. The day ain't the day for long travel like that, honey. Uh-uh. And then it's always, it's always when I'm getting low on gas, too. And now this darn gone financial situation start to mess with my laser hair move. They just call, Lord, they don't even give you a damn day, honey. They called me right then and there told me that the payment declined. And for whatever reason, I'm not getting a, I don't know why I can't get fast pay. Now I know they just did a limit on the what you can do with fast pay, but I, I'm from what I'm gathering, it's a thousand dollars. Um, but even before that, for whatever reason, I cannot request for my payouts to come early or otherwise, because I got the money, but it doesn't pay out till like Tuesday. So this shit's crazy. Another reason why I needed my darn going to statics money for these past two days. I'm supposed to see yesterday confirmed too late. And then I got on the road dashing. And then they wanted to come in later that day. Another person, but like I said, I got to find a, a suitable place, y'all. And now today the demon done took off. That could have been my $200, 250 right at the end of the day. I swear y'all I'm losing out on money. I need to get into a place. And trust me, I've been searching dark on CD every fucking day. To no avail. This is the shit right here that makes me want to get out of Fayetteville all together. But see, now I can't really get, wait. I can't get out of Fairville just yet because of the fact that I don't know if I can pick up on my treatments in a different area. I need to ask about that shit. If I can go on here and just pick up on my darn going, since it's a franchise, if I can just go on here and walk in on a, but see if I go to a different franchise though, they might already have customers scheduled on the day that I'm supposed to come, to come back. I don't want to run that risk of me going to like Atlanta, Georgia, and then it's like, oh, they booked out months. Lord, see, uh -uh. Lord, these 10, 12, 15 calls a day, God damn, something needs to change, y'all. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. I mean, it's done gotten so bad that I'm sick and tired of hearing Beyonce. And y'all know I don't ever say that about the Queen. But honey, I, next week I might finally change the Halo song, honey. Cause I, they done made me got sick and tired of hearing Halo over 20 sometimes a day. Y'all just seeing y'all well wishes. Like I said, D1 is truly Truly, truly going through. But we shall dig ourselves out of this situation somehow. It needs to be sooner, though, rather than later. For my darn piece of sanity. But that is it, y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And this time I am ending this because if I come back out, it will be a separate video. Oh, they done put metal roof over there on the house. But anyways, yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. 
And I will see y'all soon with more videos, hopefully on a more positive note. Okay, y'all. I am at the law firm, surprisingly. Now, this is strange that this is a leave it at the door at the law firm. So, you know, I'm definitely going to text them. Honey, these businesses loving their chicken, honey. Just got finished delivering to the courthouse earlier today. But it's one of these two. Let me see which one is it. Oh, this is 23 and a half. Okay, y'all, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so delivered to my second ever cosmetologist. She was actually doing hair, but to see the building says law firm, so I guess she shares, but she is on the second floor though. So now it makes sense, okay. Wow, so they do be darn innovating these down. See, but this is not the downtown space that's for rent though. See, I wouldn't mind this. Because, see, this area right here has its own parking. Like, if they were to have available space over here, now this would be ideal. It's right across the street from the courthouse, down the street from the police station, just in case your customer want to get rowdy. Walk up the st Oh, I like this location. See, damn. What, now she shell. Why can't y'all have a spot like that, fella? I still haven't located where downtown. I'm thinking it's in one of these buildings over here that they currently want to have the spa room at. But see, it ain't no parking over here. But see, that one back there has its own dedicated parking. I wouldn't have to redirect my people to go down the street to the parking deck. Now, that would have been excellent. And of course, I went home at eight, and just before I was able to turn on the computer, good that bitch done woke up and caused me to come back on out here. But that's okay. I tend to make my money when I'm under pressure. Damn, my car darn go home. Okay. Child, they might need to check out these brakes too, child. Car ain't like it wanted to stay in drive mode. But anyways. <clears throat> see, at that damn house, I only ain't got time to even respond to folks in peace. Sit down and just eat and y'all know with my Crohn's disease and my health you know I don't get my proper vitamins and minerals a day what the hell whoa what the heck am I in the right whoa No wonder I was darn gone feeling weird. I had had my car in the wrong gear, y'all. I was like, what in the hell? I had my car in the L gear, y'all. I ain't never had to put my car in L. Now I know what it's like when it's in L, child. I want to say that's the lower gear, like if you're going down a steep hill or something. But that darn old thing was all the way, all the way up. I was like, what the hell? But, yeah, I tend to make my money under pressure, so I guess this is needed. <laughs> I don't need this darn old stress, though. But, hell, fuck it. But yeah, y'all, I ain't get time to even darn on turn. Oh, my computer good. Like I said, I was gonna look at to see if some more houses done became available. Look at the she share. Uh, well, cause I, I don't think I downloaded the app. 
I keep saying I'm going to download it and I don't never get to it. I need to get to it now, especially since I got so much uh, free space now. See, right now, I'm also supposed to be in the editing the darn on video, so when I came back out here, the video could have been processed. But see, that trifling bitch be spiteful enough because the darn on um, power box is in her room, and my computer, it needs to stay on the uh, charger because the battery is gone low. So it can't uh, be on no more than like five minutes off the charge. She'll try to turn the power off in my room and then that'll cause me to kick her ass. I swear, just a spiteful bitch, honey. Just spiteful. But before I catch a murder charge out here, yeah, Diva Wan is trying to get a damn house. Because, honey, it, it's been quite a few people outside of that raggedy bitch that's dark tried me today from the McDonald's worker to, um, who else? It was one more person that tried me. Oh, them damn neighbors. That mean mugging neighbor, and then down. The, the friend that comes there is like now I understand that there's limited parking but motherfucker why would you pull up right dead smack behind my car so fortunately the car that was on the side done pulled out you would have thought that would have been his cue to say hey let me go ahead and just pull over here to the side just in case I come out I can just get on that you want to directly block me in So of course I wasn't going to back that car because once again you ain't about to damage my motherfucking car for that old 1990 some Pinto van. But since they were sitting outside and I needed to pull forward, I ain't give a damn if I ran they motherfucking ass over. Cause they heard me bitching and complaining when I came out the motherfucking door. And wanting to be sarcastic, do I need to move my car? What the hell you think? You heard me darn gonna tell the demon the darn gonna get her fucking neighbors. Like I said, I, it, it, I would not gave two dabs if I would have kept going for the burn day ass over. This, this, see, this is why I, I, I got to get away. Landlord still ain't came. And th at this point, like, I don't even give a fuck at this damn point about that damn landlord. Because it's like, hell, I can't even darn go and have a peace of mind at the house no damn way, so let the shit crumble. First, I felt bad for the old man back there that his shit was darn gone in all disarray. But now with this shit, uh huh, fuck his ass too. Damn, I'm starting to miss the damn last group. They were fight, they were fighting cut up every now and again. But honey, they, it seemed like they was a lot more darn on peaceful overall than this shit. Not the ones that was there for the past the for the month or so they had the dog and shit but the ones before that honey they, 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 them two they was alright it don't went from bad to more bad to now worse with the darn on emphasis on the A2I the honey notice how I said bad bad and worse honey you gotta drop the octave because when they go, it, 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 it's like I'm in hell right now. Just like the octave is low. The darn on that, that's how my feeling is with days. Just hell. I don't even want to know why I brought myself up Ramsey Street. I ain't got a ding yet, honey. Maybe by the time I get to Wallet World, something will come through. Cause like I said, I'm trying to get to calm myself down before I go to that house. Cause honey, I'm about two seconds from now I'm going killing her and the fucking nails, honey. Just going a mass darn on killing spree. Shit, 
shit, I'd be doing the world a favor, written darn on some darn on low life degenerates. Uh oh. See my friend getting off work at the KFC, y'all. And her brand spanking new red car, honey. Speaking of brand spanking new red car, honey. I might need to apply for this rent. See, I ain't want to apply for this Ramsey Street one though, because it's talking about a walk, a walk-in interview, and it's like, well, what I got? See, that's the shit with entry-level fans. Who it's like, why am I doing a walk-in interview? Well, y'all have an online option, so is y'all just going to ignore the people who just apply online? Because I never got a a response back from, and it's like. Can you at least send an automatic generation, a generated message saying that I wasn't picked up or some shit, but don't leave a girl in limbo. And it's like, for a job like that, you shouldn't really have to come in with any damn experience. It's like, if you hire 16-year-olds, what does it matter if I darn gonna work 10 years in a non-related field? Hell, I'm willing to darn gonna, you know, learn what I need to learn. Hell, I got hella customer service skill. Hell, and I guess that's why they darn gonna be so scared to touch me. Because with my darn gonna background, they afraid. Once again, they be afraid that I'm gonna take over the management position. But anyways, that's an order coming through. Let me see what it's about. Okay, y'all. So that um, order request was for Chick-fil-A for $3 going three miles I denied that one and then they immediately sent me another one three dollars but this time going a mile and a half so it's two dollars essentially per mile so I went in on head and took it especially since I don't got to wait in the the drive through I can go right on in and pick it up on the pickup shelf so I am here I'm gonna go on ahead and pick this order up and I will be back. Okay, now I can see why my customer didn't tip. Okay, even one or two things happen. Usually when this happens, uh, something happened with the last delivery driver where they might've forgot to drink or something. And, you know, so I got just a drink. Y'all know last time I got the customer's fries and then before that, I had part of the customer order. And then the other person had the other order. And we met the, you know, we was delivering to the same address. So, yeah, I got my customer's tea. I'm about to deliver it on to her. Like I said, it's interesting when you get just one of the items. Has that ever happened to y'all where y'all just got one of the customer's items? But now I'm irritated that I had to wait four minutes past the pickup time just for a drink. So it's like, once again, y'all couldn't have just fixed the damn drink. I, and y'all see that it's DoorDash and y'all had me waiting four minutes past the pickup time just for one drink. Like, that's crazy. But anyways, let's get to my customer, y'all. Child, DoorDash caught me just in time, honey. Jen says I was about to call it quits waiting at the Chick-fil-A um, for like six, seven minutes. I was just about to pass Papa John's when it came through. Like, if it would have came through just 10 seconds later, I would have missed it. I would have already bypassed it. But anyways, we are here. Six dollars going four miles. I think this brings my total up to what, $45 for the day for Papa, I mean, $45 a day for DoorDash. And then with Uber, 50, so we don't made like $51 a day. Anyways, let me get this order and I'll Child, I got a lot to be growling for. But anyways, we picking on up slowly but surely. 
as I looked at my pay, I'm currently at $89. And that's not including what I just made right now. Uh, once I end my dash, I'll be at, if I don't accept no more orders, I'll be at $104. So my pay for last week was $95. And then the week before that was $66. So we ain't moving on up because mind you, today is Friday and I'm definitely going to come back out here Saturday and Sunday. So, yeah, we're doing pretty decent. And then I just got an email inquiry for appointment for Tuesday. Which if that goes through, that'll be an extra 115. So if I secure two more, one would be my stress would go down quite a bit. But anyways, y'all. I'm about to look like I'm about to go on back to the house. I'm not going to end it until I pass McDonald's. Now, once I pass McDonald's, then it's a wrap. Cause y'all know how I do. I end the darn on video. And then next day, you know, I got to come right on back and be like, surprise. I'm surprised we ain't get one from Jersey Mike's today. I'm about to pass Jersey Mike's right now. I done did throughout the day. I almost don't want to come out here to, to midnight, but shit, honey, this money got to be damn made. I'm not in the position to be darn gonna turn it up, no darn gonna money. See, that's my problem. I darn gonna hit a goal for the day and think I should stop there, but see, the goal is just the bare minimum. If I can get more, more is better. Hey y'all, back out here for like the up team time today. So I'm doing one of my two hour long, two hour off shifts. 
Because y'all know I can't really... I don't have the energy to be out here like four to five hours. Sometimes I be have the energy if it's a very good day, but it ain't been one of them days, especially since it's helping I took off of work on a Friday, which could have been a good 200 some dollar day for me without me having to drive my car. But I digress. We going to Papa John's. And it is 10 miles for $9. 47 cents. But wait, it gets even better. <laughs> it's a double order. It's like, damn, we went from the days where we we could get a $10 order from Papa John's going four miles or a stack order being like $21 turn out to be like $25, $26 with tips to now a double order for nine dollars and forty-seven cents. It's very specific, so that and it shows me that my first customer is six dollars and fifty cents, which means they must have tipped three fifty because you know back back then, you know that could have just been you know the Papa John's pay because Papa John's used to have upwards of a six seven dollar uh, base pay even i've seen an eight dollar base pay at times from papa john's for the stress of having to go to a darn on campus because nobody likes to deliver to the fifth state university because they got bullshit but no they don't drop it all the way down to three and then the add-on for this one was two dollars and fifty cents that's the difference of six, you know, six fifty and nine forty. It's about like two dollars and some odd change. And now that's a very weird like payout for that second one, two dollars and forty. Cause once again, now I'm really work. Now I'm really curious, like. Because once again, now we know that the base pay can only go as low as $2 as of now. Because, honey, it wouldn't surprise me if them trifling motherfuckers try to drop the base pay again, honey. She will, I guess they're going to try to drop it down to a dollar. But I would hate to think that I have a customer that tipped me 47 cents. Like, I need to... I can't wait to see the payout on this because y'all know I can't see the breakdown until after I de deliver the order. But that 40... That 47 cents is... Hmm, it's throwing me off, honey. And then I tried to finally darn on schedule a block, honey. All the blocks are taken. Like, even the darn going non popular times. And it's scheduled out over a week in advance. I was like, well, damn, do people know something that I don't know with Grub Hood? Like, hi, damn. I couldn't darn go schedule nothing. That I couldn't get a three o'clock, four, five, or nothing. I couldn't even get no unpopular time. I said, ain't hey, this some bullshit right here? And I don't like scheduling through Girl Pub that because you know, unlike DoorDash, where you can cancel early if you need to once you figure out that it's going slow, honey. Uh uh. Girl Pub don't give a damn about that. You better complete. I think it's ninety percent of your time, if I'm not mistaken. I 
which means if you schedule, you're going to sell for an hour, at the minimum, you got to complete 54 minutes. And it's like, well, damn. At that point, I might as well complete the whole hour. I do. I think my math is right on that. See, yeah, ten percent of darn going um uh, of sixty minutes is six minutes. Subtract so that from sixty minutes, you got fifty four minutes. So it's like, yeah, you got to complete at least ninety percent of your time, or it might be eighty. I don't know, but hell, even if it's eighty, hell, that means you got to complete forty eight minutes. 48 minutes out of an hour. You ain't about to be on there for no 20, 30 minutes and then get off. They'll penalize you for it. Contemplating, should I should I hold out the Wednesday? I'm, I'm trying to hold out the Wednesday with putting air in this tire. Because if they end up having to plug it and then but do they fill it up for you anyways or will they darn gonna plug it and if it's lose some air then they say well go on ahead and you know, go to a tire place and fill but I would think that would be fucked up. It's like, how the hell I come to a mechanic shop and then you leave me with a darn gone tire in a flatter position than what it was. But my main thing that I'm worried about is my darn gone coolant leak. Because now I see that it's definitely the coolant. At first, it because every type of ground that I was on it was like I was on the dirt road or some type of cement. I couldn't see the color for sure. Because some of y'all said that it could naturally be um, condensation or whatever from water in, you know, it's summertime or whatnot. And I wasn't smelling nothing for the longest. But now I'm starting to smell something. And it wasn't until I was in my customer's darn going large driveway and I ain't have no choice but pull into their driveway. If it was up to me, I wouldn't have pulled into their driveway. But due to the street they was on, I had to pull into the driveway. Wow. Oh. Damn. I can't. Have I not mentioned how much I can't stand Ramsey Street? I can't stand this street. Oh, old dude behind me is looking. But once again, you know, this is getting redundant. That it would not be deeper one if I did not have drama and darn gone trade on the road. Drama and trade. About fucking time. Anyways, as y'all can tell, I am over it. Ooh, driving a darn on nice lime green darn on challenger. But yeah, y'all, this has just been one overall empty day. Okay, special enforcement. The only force that's darn gonna be parking over here in the non-parking zone. Oh, this person also coming up over here. He must be coming to Papa John's too or one of these restaurants nearby. You know, I'm parked over there on the side. Y'all gonna see when I get out the car.
Pay attention to behind me, y'all. Y'all see that green car behind me? Okay, y'all, I'm irritated. Now that I'm finished dropping off my two orders for Papa John's, and the first one was towards a regular house um, off Stacy Reaver. Damn, this gate opened slowly. But I'm back at Shawcroft, which is like a prestigious, you know, upper middle class neighborhood, like four, five, six hundred thousand dollar houses. This particular person is in the gated part. And due to how how limited the amount of houses there was in this area, that's why I didn't show the house off. Because they house did look somewhat unique. Usually when the house looked the same, I would show you the house for reference, like the million dollar person, the person that was in like the $800,000 house and that did not tip me nothing. I showed y'all his house because all the other houses look damn near the same. So y'all wouldn't have been able to pick out his house or whatnot if y'all are familiar with Fayetteville. But two things irritated me with this customer. First thing is, why is you not paying attention to your phone to see that I'm arriving if you did not feel like giving me the gate? Now, I don't know if they have the type of thing because they just had the numbers on theirs. Um, this is the first time I've seen like a key code thing for the gate where it doesn't show the numbers or whatnot. So, I don't know if they wasn't able to automatically buzz me in or whatnot. But it's like they did not have the gate code for me. I guess they was betting on that somebody was gonna just let me in. Like, I don't know if they don't have it where for delivery drivers, they can give a temporary code out. Like, what? what is up with that shit, y'all? Like, why do people be so scared to give out the gate code? Like, do they not have a special gate code for like the postman and Amazon or whatnot? It's like, you order pizza, if you felt that insecure about somebody coming to your neighborhood, uh, despite the fact that I'm a delivery driver, if something was to happen, you can easily contact Papa John's and they can contact DoorDash to get all my credentials. It's like, if you felt that darn gone insecure, there was three cars in the dri driveway and then y'all have this massive garage, so there was probably more cars in the garage. Y'all could have just went up the street and got the pizza, you damn self. But you darn gone chose DoorDash for the convenience of me. Well, y'all chose Papa John's because see, they don't even know half the time that, you know, DoorDash is coming out. But it's like, still, y'all didn't have the key code. And then, thank goodness, some people was coming behind me in golf carts and one of the children opened up the gate code for me. I mean, open up the gate so the gate can open up for me. They enter their gate code. And then I get to their house. Everybody else has their address labeled, you know, at the bottom of their mailbox. This is the only one. I ain't got no darn gone address visibly labeled. Not near the door. Not at the mailbox. Lovely brick mailbox. But no visible address. So, I concluded that this must be their house by process of elimination. Another thing I shouldn't have to do is like, number one, why am I having to guess your address in broad daylight? That's a damn problem. It already be... In 800 feet, turn right onto Ramsey Street. It be irritating enough when I can't see the addresses at night. But it's like, you ain't even got your address visible in the damn day. Turn right onto Ramsey Street. So it's like, you could have left the description of what your darn going uh house is I walk all the way down a long driveway continue on Ramsey Street for one and a half miles I was about to drop it at the door and then they were surprised when they opened up the door that I was about to put it in the door but it's like once again y'all put this contactless delivery special instructions it's like okay if it's contactless don't look surprised that I'm putting it down on your damn doorstep and I was about to be in the process of taking a damn picture. 
And would you believe that was the $2 person? The $2.50? Which means I did not get no tip. And this is why I tell y'all, do not darn go and be taking, don't be looking at these high dollar houses and think that you're going to darn go win. But anyways, I got an order request coming in. Let me see what this is about. Okay, DoorDash must have heard me bitching and complaining because um, they gave me three phenomenal offers to accept. But see, DoorDash, I think they uh, signed us the notification once they realized they sent it to me. Because it was like, first, um, my app was freezing up for a quick second. And by the time I got into the app, because I seen that the notification came through on my phone. But it did not give out the notification sound for me to know that I had a notification. And by the time I got to it, it was only three seconds. I wasn't able to click it in time. And it was for Piero's Italian Bistro Pizza. Um, it was $6 going for three miles. I was about to jump on it. But instead, I guess it was a blessing that I did not get that one. Because I got a Papa John's order for $7 going two miles. So a dollar more going a mile less. And I did get an add-on order, not to be a, not to be confused with a stack order. A stack order is just what I got in, um, just right here where I had both orders offered at, offered to me at the same time. I got this $7 order one first and then within 30 seconds it said add-on option, additional three miles and some change additional three miles, 3.5 miles for $5.25. But anyways, y'all, I am here. Like I was saying about the high dollar neighborhood, don't y'all get confused and think because you're going to a high dollar neighborhood that they tip. This is the second time this shit happened to me. But thank goodness DoorDash is making up for it. So we're approaching an hour and let me see. I'm about to make. Damn. Music about to give me copyright. But we are four Papa John's orders, $9, $7, $16. Plus five twenty one, so we at twenty one dollars. So we doing pretty damn excellent, y'all. So that order definitely made up for it. Um. So I originally accepted it for seven dollars going two miles, and then the additional one was five dollars going three miles, three and a half miles. But my customer. They never responded to my message about should I leave it at the door, should I meet them at the door or whatnot because I started just texting my customers as opposed to the phone calls because it's like, well, hell, they don't be recognizing the phone calls and shit any damn way. So I'm just going to text them instead. So because if I text them, they can clearly see the message and where I'm from as opposed to playing the guessing game, especially if their mailbox be Sometimes the mailbox be full, so I can't even leave a message saying, hey, I'm from Papa John's by way of DoorDash. Meanwhile, they looking at me the whole time through the ring camera. So, once again, impressions are key because I walk to the door with my custom, you know, not with the DoorDash bag, but with the, um, with my catering bag. And I carefully put it down in front of the door, took my picture, and as I clicked the set, it was a $9 tip, y'all, which brought the total to $12. So instead of $7 for the order, I got $12. Then I got to this um, folks house. They was at a party. I mean, they was, they was having a party and whatnot. And I, I got my $2.25 tip from them, I believe. No, it was a $3.25 tip because, once again, the base pay was $2 for the add-on. That's a damn shame, y'all. They, they need to stop fucking with that. They could have just kept the shit at 3 And, yeah, y'all saying it was being 2 but in my area, they naturally kept it at 3 to 10 We ain't never had this $2 shit like this. Even with add-ons, it was normally $3. 
But ultimately, it's been a good day. I tell y'all, anytime a motherfucker pisses me off, this always darn gone turns out to be a real profitable day. It stresses me the fuck out. And it causes me to grind harder. I work I work good under pressure, ironically. I haven't seen a I haven't seen a day like this since like May 12th. So it's been over a month since I had this type of day. But I made $74 today. That's pretty damn good, y'all. 74 freaking dollars. And that is not including Uber. So if you include the pay with Uber today, I made $80 today. And I've been out here since 11, and it's now 8. But once again, I've been taking two hours on, two hours off. Or, except for earlier today where I, 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 I went in for the house, I went inside the house for like a quick minute, like 15 minutes, and then I came back out. So really you can say that first part of the day was like three hours through. Then I came back out like two hours later, around three something. And then I just came back out right at going on seven o'clock because I finally edited my video. My video should be pro uh, probably done processing right about now. And that's the video from yesterday. Or is it Monday? One of those days. One of these early days this week. But yeah, I finally got finished editing a video. Now I'm about to go home and respond to some of these spa inquiries. And call it a day. So ultimately... I've been dashing six out of the, let me see, 12, 12. I've been dashing like six out of the nine hours. So for $80, you divide that by six, what you get? quite $15 an hour because 15 times 6 is what 90 I believe 13 times it's roughly $13 an hour so yeah it's still on the low end on a very good day I would have made this y'all know back back last month I made what $100 within like four hours of consistent work like pushing four hours through comes up about the same but it's two hours less than twenty dollars more and when you divide you know uh, when you divide a hundred by four it comes up to like twenty five dollars an hour but hell like I said I ain't complaining about thirteen dollars an hour the only thing I wish it was I wish this you know, was more consistent throughout the whole day. I can make, I, I can do pretty good on $13 an hour if this shit was consistent. But see, it can go from $13 an hour, as y'all seen, down to $8 an hour. And hell, one day was so bad, it was like $5 an hour. And then the days there be See, it's too sporadic. It'd be like $5 an hour, $8 an hour, $13 an hour, $16, $20, Now, I ain't never gotten to know there's no $40. Now, I heard people talk about $40, $50 something hours. Honey, I ain't shit. I might need to drive up to Raleigh for that, honey. But down here in Fayetteville, the most profitable I seen was like, I was up to like $33 in one hour. That's the highest that I've ever gotten per hour. And once again, I'm in Fayetteville, North Carolina. If I was in Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina, it probably would be $40, $50 an hour. But that is it, y'all. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. And 
I will see y'all tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm still contemplating on how early tomorrow y'all want to see me. Is y'all want to see me at midnight tonight? <laughs> or am I going to finally call it quits for this part of the day and just come back 11 o'clock tomorrow on Saturday? We'll see. Oh, now all the asses want to be gone in the house. Trifling motherfucking neighbors. I swear I can't wait to get, get, get away from these trifling hoes. But anyways, I keep y'all abreast of the situation.